He, here's the thing with Austin. Austin got away with a lot, but what he was getting away with was getting in the way of his success and what he wanted. And so we started right away. Whatever antics there were, we were gonna stop it and we were gonna correct it. And there were two guys in that wrestling room that would not let him get by with it, not once. N these two guys never fatigued. Those two guys were Tom and Terry Brands. And every time he would grab a shirt, every time he would grab a headgear, every time that he would do something that was illegal and a team point, you, we would stop. Technical violation, one point, opponent. How does that feel? Yeah, when I first got here, it, it, was, it was hard. It was really hard on myself where I wanted to do well. It's a different culture here. When I, when I was here my first month, it felt like I was here for a full year. Finding out the right ways to do it, the right ways to be calm and not obsess over, oh, I got my butt beat today. No, I mean, it's obsessing over it the right way, not where I'm in my bed. Oh, what could I have done better? Oh, I got my butt beat all, oh, that was embarrassing. But Austin DeSanto, some of his antics and the things that he was getting away with got in the way of what he was trying to accomplish in the sport. And so you had to do it. And it was tiresome. Tom and Terry do a really good job of keeping me in check. And it's just over time, it's not, not one single moment. It's multiple, multiple times they don't let it happen. It's not the right way to do it. And it's not, oh, we, we've given up on that guy. No, they're, they will go to the end of the earth to make me the best person that I can be and that they know I can be. And it doesn't matter how many times I fail, they're, they're still there. You, know, you, can't, you can't snap your fingers and say, don't do this, and then say, oh, okay, I don't do that anymore, it's fixed. Kid has come a long way.